So there I am on the lookout, when out of nowhere, these high beams light up my rear view. And then it hits me. I'm illegally parked. Another parking ticket? Better. The boot. Big metal tire clamp, impossible to remove. Bingo! So the local police do their thing, and I let them get all the way down the block. That's when I kick off my new shiny shoe, and bang! New York's finest soil themselves. You know me, RC. <laughs> Mess with Cliff Jumper. And you get the horns. <laughs> Not sure how that complies with Autobot rule number one. Keep a low profile. What can I say? Patrolling for Energon out here in Dullsville gets lonesome. Almost makes me miss the Decepticons. Like Jasper Nevada's a party? We're alone wherever we travel on this rock cliff. I'm getting a signal. Need backup? Do I ever need backup? I just found a whole lot of Energon. Decepticons. RC, about that backup. I'll put a few dings in ya. Pharmacy to Optimus. The cons are back. Cliff might be neck deep in scrap. Understood. Ratchet, do you have Cliff Jumper's coordinates? I'm locked on his signal, Optimus. But our team is scattered across time zones. RC, Bulkhead, Bumblebee. Rendezvous back at base and prepare to ground bridge. Clean that up. John deposit. What's left of it? The first Decepticon activity in three years. That we know of. If they're scouting for Energon, they may be preparing for his return. No. 
Ratchet. Can you track his position? No. Cliff Jumper's life signal just went offline. Soundwave, what is it? Like Jasper Nevada's a party? We're alone wherever we travel on this rock cliff. <sighs> the one called RC. Why slay just one Autobot when we still have the advantage of surprise? Mm -hmm. We must not allow our anger over the loss of Cliff Jumper to impair our judgment. As of today, only we five Autobots remain on this Earth. We owe it to ourselves, to the memory of Cybertron, to any Autobots in any galaxy seeking safe harbor, to humankind. And we owe it to the memory of our fallen comrade to survive. R.C. If Cliff's gone, standing around here sulking won't bring him back. So unless anyone minds, I think I'll get back to protecting humankind. Optimus, helping humans will only result in more tragedy. Your opinion is noted. Welcome to KO Drive-In, where every patty's a knockout. May I take your order? Uh, two super combos, extra fries. Okay, dose numero twos. Anything else? Yeah, some advice. How do I get an awesome job like yours? <laughs> so that's two we're not as funny as we think we are combos with a side of bite me. <laughs> What'd you say? 559, sir, at the window. <laughs> hey, I have to pay for that. Twins. Take five, Sadie. Hey, Mom. I just got off. No, I'm not going to the dance. Experience suggests I should never cut a rug. Well, unless I'm installing carpet. Be careful. Seriously? This is Jasper. I love you. Uh, yeah, I, I love you too, Mom. I gotta run. Hello, beautiful. Where have you been all my life? Nice. It may take a few KO paychecks, but I am gonna own a ride like you someday. Are you talking to your motorcycle? <laughs> yeah, my motorcycle? Uh, no, I, I mean, yes, yes, it's uh, it's mine, but uh, no, I'm, I'm not talking to... Well, to you, I, I am. How's things, Sierra? Take you for a spin sometime? Come on, smooth operator. Wrap it up. You know my name? We're in homeroom together. I'm Jack. Jack Darby? Scrap. Exist. Tell anyone about me, and I will hunt you down. Whoa! 
cours Scrap Here, cons. What are they? Talking cars that turn into robots. Or the other way around. and I'm not sure I want to find out. And the cons would have been scrap metal if I hadn't been distracted by the human. 
Human? Two boys. I guess the second one caught us in action? I don't know. Was a little busy at the time. If the Decepticons are targeting us, anyone perceived as our ally will be at grave risk. Raph, hey, look, let's just keep this between us and forget anything ever happened, okay? <gasps> Jack! Oh, not again. It wants us to get in. No, just me. How do you know that? It said so. What? Yours is over there. Look, I really don't think that... How's it going? Raph? Wait! Stop! Coolest bike ever. Host parents? Ignore. I just want to talk to you. Don't you mean you and your new friend? Kid, there's a lot you don't understand. Oh, no, I, I get it, I get it. The first rule of Robot Fight Club is you don't talk about Robot Fight Club. What you need to understand is that I don't want a bunch of crazy talking vehicles following me around trying to get me killed. Look, Jack, is it? Your personal safety is exactly why Optimus Prime has requested your presence. Wait, Optimus who? You may be in danger because you are one of the few, one of the only who have ever seen us. Dude, what are you waiting for? Go with! Scrap. And why exactly are we taking her? Rules. I thought there were two. Haven't you heard? Humans multiply. I'm Raph. I'm Miko. Who are you? Bokehead. <gasps> are you a car? I bet you're a truck. A monster truck! Do you like heavy metal? How much do you weigh? Ever use a wrecking ball for a punching bag? So if you guys are robots, who made you? <laughs> Police. We are autonomous robotic organisms from the planet Cybertron, also known as Autobots. Why are you here? To protect your planet from the Decepticons. The Jokers who tried to bump us off last night? Okay, why are they here? A fair question, Jack. In part, they are here because our planet is uninhabitable ravaged by centuries of civil war. Why were you fighting a war? Foremost, over control of our world supply of Energon, the fuel and lifeblood of all Autobots and Decepticons alike. The combat was fierce and endured for centuries. In the beginning, I fought alongside one whom I considered a brother. But in war, ideals can be corrupted. And it was thus that Megatron lost his way. <sighs> Is there gonna be a quiz? So what does Megatron, or any of this, have to do with us? Megatron has not been seen or heard from in some time. 
But if his return is imminent, as I fear, it could be catastrophic. Those transmissions are emanating from deep space. I would hate to waste the energon, unless you are absolutely certain. <sighs> then lock on transmission coordinates and activate the space bridge. <laughs> Previously on Transformers Prime. The cons are back. Cliff might be neck deep in scrap. Oh! Cliff Jumper's life signal just went offline. As of today, only we five Autobots remain on this Earth. What are they? Talking cars that turn into robots. Or the other way around. Look, you may be in danger because you are one of the few, one of the only who have ever seen us. Why are you here? To protect your planet from Megatron. But if his return is imminent, it could be catastrophic. I have returned. The Energon deposits we have located while you were away, Lord Megatron. This one is by far the most significant. The drones have been mining without pause during your absence, and have amassed quite a stockpile. You there, fetch me a sample. Starscream. Now that I have returned, I will issue the command. I understand, Lord Megatron. Then, as your humble servant, shall I ready the space bridge to bring forth the Decepticon army you have surely gathered during your three years in space? My army will come. But my time away has yielded a more intriguing means of materializing them. The solidified form of the matter the ancient texts refer to as the blood of Unicron. Unicron the Destroyer. But it is said that his blood is the anti-spark. Plucked from cosmic shores, gaze upon Dark Energon. Legend tells that it holds the power to revive the dead. We require only Cadaver to be certain. Are you willing to make the ultimate sacrifice? <laughs> that may not be necessary, if I may, Lord Megatron. Consider it a welcome home present. And since you now know of our existence, I fear that as of last night, the Decepticons know of yours. Got it. If we spot any strange vehicles, call 911. Can we go now? Are you insane? I'm living a dream here in Botswana, and I will not allow you or anyone else to shatter it. It is best that you three remain under our watch, at least until we can determine our enemy's intentions. Optimus. With all due respect, the human children are in as much danger here as anywhere. Children? They have no protective shell. If they get underfoot, they will go... squish. 
Then, for the time being, Ratchet, we must watch where we step. What's that? Proximity sensor. Someone's up top. It's Agent Fowler. I thought we were the only humans who knew about you guys. Special Agent Fowler is our designated liaison to the outside world, as he tends to visit only when there are issues. It may be best if you do not meet him at this time. Seven wrecks, 34 fender benders, a three-hour traffic jam, and of particular note, numerous reports of a speeding motorcycle of unknown make and a black and yellow custom muscle car. So, anything you care to get up your tin chest, Prime? We have the situation under control, Agent Fowler. They're back, aren't they? If you are referring to the Decepticons, I have doubts that they ever left. Your planet is much too valuable. Then it's time to wake up the Pentagon. Hear me, Agent Fowler. We are your best, possibly your only, defense against the Decepticon threat. Says you. Hey, Fleshy, did anyone get splattered on that freeway? Team Prime knows when to use force and how much to use. Oh, can I needed that? Enough. Military involvement will only result in catastrophe. Perhaps you can condone widespread human casualties, Agent Fowler. I, however, cannot. Then do us both a favor and handle this prime under the radar. Or I will. Pretty big bearings for a human. Agent Fowler is concerned for his world, Bulkhead, as he should be. Let us see if power born of darkness can reignite the spark. to destroy anything in its path. There, Starscream, rise the indestructible seed of my army. The ultimate weapon. Once I learn to control it. Blasted Earth Tech. Cliff Jumper's signal popped back online. Who's Cliff Jumper? How is that possible? It isn't. Another bug. The system's chock full of them. If there's any chance Cliff's alive. Ratchet, prepare sick bay. We may need it. Hey! What can we do? Remain with Ratchet. Aww. Oh. Autobots, roll out. What just happened? I transported them to the designated coordinates via the ground bridge. What's a ground bridge? Ugh. A scaled-down version of Space Bridge technology. 
since we don't currently possess the means or the energon required for intergalactic travel. You're stuck here. On Earth. With the likes of you, yes. But I constructed the ground bridge to enable travel from here to anywhere on your planet. Whoa. Does it work for humans? Naturally. You mean I could just shoot on over and visit my parents in Tokyo? Within moments. In fact, allow me to send you there immediately, all three of you. Watch it, Ratchet. Energon mine. Judging by its scale, the Decepticons have been tunneling here for quite some time. Let's find Cliff Trumper. touch don't touch that either is there anything in here we can touch how come you guys are using human computers it certainly isn't by choice it was handed down from the previous tenants when we inherited this former missile silo i make modifications as i see fit oh. i think i can fix that really you know, this is complex technology, don't you? I mean, it isn't a child's toy. Now try. Maximum overdrive. the ship for departure. But, but the Energon I've mined, the Autobots will seize it. Then blow the mines. It's Cliff. I have a visual. We'll cover you. Go.
get you home, partner. Close. How about Cliff Jumper? What was that explosion? Was there a fight? Can I come with next time? <sighs> Look. Hey, hey, Miko. Uh, let's go see what the bots hide in their sock drawers. Seriously? RC, what did you see? Not Cliff. At least, not anymore. He was mutated. Butchered. Like... Something from those con experiments during the war. Oh. I'm fine. Just dizzy. Robots who get dizzy? Robots with emotions. Robots who can die. Hmm. Hmm. What is this? Don't know. Cliff was covered in it. Leaking it. Go take a decontamination bath. Now. Uh, Optimus, I, I hate to bug, but no bars. A security precaution. The silo walls isolate all radio waves. Well, if I don't call my mom, like now, I'm pretty sure the cops will be out looking for me. Have you broken the law? A uh, curfew. It's after 10 p.m. I better get home, too. Or I'll be grounded for a year. Earth customs. I hadn't considered. But the issue of your safety remains. Bulkhead, accompany Mika home. Awesome! My host parents will freak! And maintain covert surveillance in vehicle form. Curbside duty. Got it. Ah. Bumblebee, you'll watch over Wrath. Ratchet. Busy. RC, you'll accompany Jack. Oh, still dizzy. You're fine, says your physician. <sighs> RC, I just wanted to say, I'm really sorry for your loss. What could you possibly know about loss? What, you think you're the only one with problems? <laughs> I'm not sure girl trouble counts. Well, I'm pretty sure my girl trouble started the night I met you. Cons! No! Mom! Jack? Mom! <laughs> don't, don't freak. I can explain. Can you? Jackson Darby, we've talked about this. I know, and... You don't know. I worry about you enough when you're not here. Now I have to worry about you driving a motorcycle? I'm 16. I can't be riding a 10-speed forever. How did you even afford this? Uh, it's used. It's uh, abused, really. It needs a ton of repairs. But the point is, uh, I may have been a kid when I bought this, but I'm not anymore. You always tell me to make responsible choices. Well, I chose her. And I'll be responsible. I promise. Her? I didn't think you'd be bringing girls home just yet. I like to think she brought me. Well, 
I'm glad you finally have a reason to wear your helmet. Every single time you ride, you will take me for a spin every once in a while. We'll see. She's kind of temperamental. Are you crazy? You'll wake up my mom. Grab your helmet. It's go time. Oh, it's Saturday. You can watch cartoons back at base with Bumblebee. Cartoons? I'm 16. And leave a note for your mom. She worries. I don't think you need worry about further Autobot interference, Master. Not with Optimus gone. And what evidence do you possess of this fact? I destroyed the mines. As you instructed. Optimus is not so easily destroyed. We have millennia worth of battles behind us to prove it. Maybe you should take a break, my lord. I worry that too much contact with the Dark Energon might allow its properties to adversely affect you. Or perhaps, Starscream, I have not permitted myself contact enough. <laughs> Wait! Lord Megatron! No! Not your spark chamber! You do not know what it will do! Hmm. The base elements of this goo are like nothing I've ever encountered must be extremely concentrated to have affected R.C. so rapidly. Unfortunately, complete results are slow coming without the use of proper diagnostic tools. Thank you very much, Bulkhead. Previously on Transformers Prime, it is best that you three remain under our watch. Gaze upon Dark Energon. Legend tells that it holds the power to revive the dead. Cliff Jumper's signal popped back online. <sighs> Let's find Cliff Jumper. Cliff! <sighs> what is this? Don't know. Cliff was covered in it. Wait! Lord Megatron! You do not know what it will do! Tighten your grip, Jack. Whoa! Hey! What's with you, RC? Thought you might actually enjoy the ride if you weren't getting shot at. Oh, bring it! Ready, set... Miko, I'm supposed to be protecting you. Bulkhead, I'm strapped tight inside ten tons of metal muscle. I'm protected. Bumblebee, you've been driving a lot longer than I have. Thank goodness for peace and quiet. House guests can be such a bother. What? Optimus? Oh. By the old spark! I need it! 
did that! And stay broken. Now what could have caused that? I have a grave suspicion, Ratchet. Dark Energon. Lord Megatron. It's as if the blood of Unicron, the Destroyer, flows through my veins. As if I hear his very thoughts. I now know what I must do. <laughs> and what can I do to assist you, Master? Quit groveling and await my command. I fear that when our master reached for the stars, he came down with a touch of space madness. Lord Megatron has not been of sound judgment since his return. Increase global surveillance. Quit groveling and await my command. I'm not deaf, but if Optimus Prime lives... I believe it is in Lord Megatron's best interest that we ensure his enemy's destruction. If the residue RC found on Cliffjumper brought your broken equipment to life, it would stand to reason that the very same substance brought Cliffjumper back from the dead. Hmm. That would account for his life signal inexplicably coming back online, but dark, Energon? It's so scarce as to be virtually non-existent. What would it be doing on Earth? It was transported by Megatron. For what purpose? To conquer this planet by raising an army of the undead. <laughs> well, Megatron will need to break quite a few toaster ovens. I mean, where on this world would he find that many Cybertronian dead? Left that in the back seat. Autobots, prepare to roll out. Remain here. Ratchet, you'll come with me. RC, we'll be outside communications range for some time, so I'm putting you in charge. Dude, you're biggest. You should be the boss. Um, he never picks me. Optimus, with all due respect, playing bodyguard is one thing, babysitting's another. <gasps> Besides, Ratchet hasn't been in the field since the war. My pistons may be rusty, but my hearing is sharp as ever. For the moment, it's only reconnaissance. Then why do I hear an edge in your voice? RC, much has changed in the last 24 hours. And we all need to adapt. Ratchet, bridge us out. Chief, so, uh, what's on the activities list? I'm going on patrol. But Optimus told us to stay. When you're in charge, you can call the shots. B, with me. <coughs> Bulkhead, you're in charge. So, uh, what's on the activities list? How about... Band practice! But we're not a band. Why so antisocial? Come on, Rav. You play anything? Um, keyboard? Laptops and samples. Good. Jack? I sometimes mess around on the harmonica. Do I look like I do country? Just cover yourself in fake blood and jump around screaming. Uh... Bulkhead. Percussion. We'll go for a big industrial sound. DIY. We're a band. You just gotta learn the songs. This one's a ballad. My fist? Your face! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Come on, you can't handle 
still raw power? Proximity sensor. Quick, hide! Prime! Agent Fowler. Uh, he's not here. Uh, nobody's here. Except me, of course. Well, where did he go? Wait, don't tell me. He's out pancaking a mini mall. Now, I don't know what language you bots speak on your planet, but Prime promised he would handle the Decepticons, and blowing a crater in the middle of Nebraska is not what the word handle means in English. So, you tell Prime. Since when are you bots electric? Hey, how you doing? Contact with civilians. Team Prime has really gone off book this time. Wait, don't tell me. You're running a daycare center. Okay. You're, we're interns. Student interns. Uh, earning extra credit in the auto Robotics. Shop. Okay. Let's move. I'm taking all three of you into federal custody. It's for your own protection. We're protecting them. Is that so? Well, maybe you can explain that to my superiors at the Pentagon. Don't use that phone, it's... out of order. This is an over big foot, not by a long shot. hope to find here the site of the largest cybertronian battlefield in this galaxy on earth you must be joking do you recall the period late in the war when both sides began hiding their energon spoils off world of course it's the reason energon deposits exist on planets such as this one it is also the reason battles came to be waged on planets such as this one and I fear Megatron's memory is as long as history. Sir, Agent Fowler, we have a situation. I'm en route from the Autobot base. I'll brief you in person. I'm en route from the Autobot base. I'll brief you in person. Autobot base, say. Eh? Humans, always the weak link. Fetch me this Fowler, so that he may brief us instead. Hey, Big Bird. I'm flying here. What an Uncle Sam's beard! First the freeways aren't safe, now air travel? around when you actually need one.
an SOS. From Fowler. Uh, 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 Did you trace it? Location scan was incomplete. Oh well. Uh, oh well? Seriously? Fowler's a jerk. Whoa! Whether you like the guy or not, the Decepticons may have him. And Agent Fowler knows your location. Our location. And did we not just witness how fast Fowler backs down from a bot? The cons will totally make him squeal! But we lost the transmission. Fowler could be anywhere. Maybe I can narrow it down. About five years ago, the government started microchipping their agents. You know, like owners do with pets. What? I saw it on TV. Anyway, if I can hack into the Fed's mainframe, maybe I can pinpoint Fowler's coordinates. You know how to hack? But you're, like, two years old. Twelve. And a quarter. Welcome, Agent Fowler. You treat all your guests this nice? <laughs> Any friend of the Autobots. Autobots? That one of them coin-operated, washed my own car places? Oh, so that's how it's going to be, hmm? Apparently, no one has told you I have no appreciation for human humor. Make our guest comfortable. Latitude 39.5, longitude 116.9. <laughs> Okay, wait here. Aw, don't break up the band. Uh, Jack, you're in charge. Guess we three have the run of the place. Miko? Miko? Fowler? Decepticon shebang. All right. What's the plan? Miko! Oh, unwise. Bulkhead, they're children. Humans, just do whatever. You're where? She's where? What should we do? Bulkhead may not even realize that she followed him. Miko hasn't seen the cons in action like we have. She has no idea. Those are the coordinates. Their destination's still locked in. <sighs> um, you're in charge. In charge of who? RC to base. Come in. Jack, listen up. We need you to bridge us back. Hello? <sighs> Bumblebee, metal to the pedal. Agent Fowler, 
I have one simple request that will save your family the pain of grieving. Tell me the location of the Autobot base. No problem. But I need to ask you something first. Yes, I'm listening. I got an issue with the customer service around here. Can I speak to the manager? <sighs> I make the decisions here. I am in charge. Bring the prod. What's taking RC and Bumblebee? Dude, the cons could be putting the clamps on Fowler right now. Let's just storm the joint. <sighs> They're here. Why don't those guys hang with their own bots? This is our one-on-one -on -one time. <sighs> Whoa, are your bones vibrating? You there! Scrap! I ask nicely one last time. The Autobot base! Sure thing, buddy. Right after you eat my Star Spangled shorts. As I imagined, Energon and human nervous systems don't mix. For the first time in my life, Optimus, I had hoped that you were wrong. <laughs> Optimus, been well? I see you brought your trusty watchdog. I was certain he'd be convalescing in a scrapyard by now. Why don't you invite him down here for a check? I know why you're here, Megatron. Hardly a surprise, Optimus. After all, you and I have been at this a long time. And your time has come to an end. Previously on Transformers Prime, it's as if the blood of Unicron, the Destroyer, flows through my veins. Dark, Energon? It's so scarce as to be virtually non-existent. Contact with civilians? We're protecting them. Fetch me this, Fowler. Tell me the location of the Autobot base. It's an SOS. Scrap! Rise, my army! Behold! The power of dark energy! Megatron has desecrated the resting place of our fallen ancestors, and his own. Not even the dead are free from his warmongering. At last, symbiosis. I can feel it. I possess complete control over my army. Destroy them! <laughs> If our combatants are already deceased, how can we possibly defeat them? Ah! 
I shall stand with you, Optimus. You may require a medic when this is over with. I recommend dissection. The smaller the pieces, the better. Sound advice, old friend. I have mastered Dark Energon. When you fall, Optimus, you too shall join my army. Thanks, Bulkhead. Yeah, thanks. What are you doing here? We were worried about Miko. Have you seen her? What's she look like? Everyone out. And this time, please wait here. on your floor mats. Sorry. Ooh. 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 Remind me never to do that again. clearing the front door for us. But storming the Decepticon warship was not on the activities list. Tell me about it. Friendly! Hello! Brought the humans, huh? You try getting them to stay behind! We need to find Fowler and get these kids out of here. Uh, he's, he's in, in the, the brig. My dear Agent Fowler, 
you do realize the Autobots have abandoned you. <laughs> I am the only one you can rely upon now. So tell me what I want to know, or... Please, no more. They're in secret government base. Go on. Yes. In the old steel mill. Or was it under that carnival funhouse? Someone find out what is going on out there! Prolonged exposure to dark energon is sapping our strength. We cannot falter now. Optimus! Wait in here. They're slowing us down and they're easy targets. They'll be all right in here as long as they stay put. That was intense. Was? It's your fault that we're stuck in this intensity. What were you thinking, Miko? Did I ask you to follow me? You wanted us to be a band. Doesn't that usually mean playing together? Well, maybe I decided to go solo. Well, maybe I have some regard for your safety. Oh, I'm sorry. Is your name Optimus? You can leave my protection to Bulkhead. Thank you very much. Ah! Stop it! Both of you! Oh, hey, hey, Raph, Raph, it's, it's okay. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. Our bots will come back for us. Yeah, they're gonna take us home. How do you know? Hey, Raph, what do you make of that? It's important. Real important. Wake up, you pathetic lump of flesh. Mm. Grandma, is it cookie time? <sighs> well? Not so fast. 
I wouldn't. Oh, but I might. We gotta get this to Optimus. How do you know it isn't just a recipe for space nachos? I know math when I see it, and that is one serious equation. Can you download it? I got a flash drive. But I don't see anywhere to plug it in. This tech is way alien. Agent Fowler and I will take our leave. The evil says, yeah! <laughs> Stop the pie. You found Fowler! Rock on! Bravo, Optimus! Though this is but a prelude, you may wish to save your strength for the main event. You will not prevail, Megatron. Not while Energon still flows through my veins. Fitting, for it is dark Energon which flows through mine. <laughs> This wasn't Megatron's endgame. What is? What happened to you guys anyway? We engaged an army of undead Cybertronian warriors. Zombies? You fought zombies and I missed it? Bulkhead. You exercised extremely poor judgment in allowing the humans to accompany you. It won't happen again, Optimus. I, I promise. But it wasn't Bulkhead's fault. M Miko, please! And check it out. Recon! Hmm. Ratchet, have a look. It could be of importance to Megatron. Whoa, Megatron's back? That's really bad news, right? I don't understand. Oops. That's the con who tried to blow Raph away. At least that's what he looked like before Bulkhead rearranged his grill. Miko, Raph was almost killed. This isn't a game. When are you going to get that through your thick skull? Um, we were all almost killed, Jack. You, me, Raph, even them. Well, if this was just an average day with the Autobots, then I don't want to be a part of it. Not anymore. Jack, 
Putting you in harm's way was never our intent. However, it is no longer the safety of you three that is at risk, but the safety of all humankind. We will respect your decision if you wish to leave. No point in long goodbyes. Here's the door. Come on, Raph. I'll be okay, Jack. See you at school. Sure thing. I know you don't exist. Don't make me hunt you down. Please, Lord Megatron, I meant no. I ordered you to await my command. Instead, your mindless agenda resulted in the disabling of my ship and the delay of my plans! My intentions were pure, Master. I only wanted you to be rid of Optimus. No one rids me of Optimus Prime but me. Do you understand? Do you? Lord Megatron, I will make things right. I swear! I know how to set your plans back on course! <laughs> Explain, Starscream. Quickly. Now I understand why you had to rush home. Don't you have something more exciting to do, Miko? So, this is where you hang, huh? Back home in Tokyo, I have loving parents and two purebred cats, Chi-Chi and Ding Dong. I went to the best school, took piano lessons since I was three. How nice for you. No, how boring. It wasn't me. Why do you think I jumped at the chance to transfer here? <laughs> to Jasper, Nevada. The entertainment capital of the world. <laughs> yeah, well, the brochure lied. Piano lessons were starting to look pretty good, in fact. But then, the last couple of days happened. Okay, do you have a point? You bet. I saw what you did today. When you saved Raph. When you came to save me. I've been raised to be responsible. To my schoolwork, to my mom, my job. Dude, hear me out. You're no fry cook. You're a rock star! Stop trying to pretend you're normal, Jack. You'll never fit in. You were born to do so much more. Thanks, Miko. But I think normal suits me fine. Oh. Optimus! These are engineering specs for a space-time vortex generator. Megatron's building a space bridge. If he hasn't already. The sooner he leaves, the better. Bulkhead, a space bridge runs in two directions. Megatron may not be using it to leave Earth, but to bring through his conquering army. The main event Megatron referred to? But the only place Megatron could possibly recruit that many fallen warriors. Precisely. Cybertron. Previously on Transformers Prime. Bravo, Optimus! You may wish to save your strength for the main event. We need to find Fowler and get these kids out of here. 
It's your fault that we're stuck in this intensity. What were you thinking, Miko? I know math when I see it, and that is one serious equation. If this was just an average day with the Autobots, then I don't want to be a part of it. Your mindless agenda resulted in the disabling of my ship and the delay of my plans! Ah! Megatron's building a space bridge to bring through his conquering army. But the only place Megatron could recruit that many fallen warriors... Cybertron. We cannot allow Megatron to send Dark Energon through his space bridge. If we fail, the dead of Cybertron will rise. Swarm through its vortex and invade Earth, bending humankind to Megatron's twisted rule. Nice bike. Uh, RC, really, Miko already tried. Tell Optimus I respect him big time, but if you're at war with the Decepticons, there's nothing I can do to help. Optimus didn't send me, and no one's asking for your help. Okay, so if we both agree that I'm not warrior material, I... Jack, I just lost someone I cared about. Maybe it's the grief talking. Maybe you're growing on me. Whatever it is, I'm just not ready to say goodbye. Optimus, I've pinpointed the location of Megatron's space bridge. High in Earth's orbit. Out of our reach. Okay, so you guys don't fly, but can't you just ground bridge there? The ground bridge has limited range. Stretched all the way into orbit, its vortex could snap and scatter us to the stars. Since Megatron is likely already in transit, I'm afraid we must take that risk. Reaching the space bridge first is our only means of stopping him. Hey, guess who's back? Autobots, prepare for departure. Where to? The final frontier. W space? I, I thought they didn't have any way to get there. They don't. Really? Um, be seeing ya? Be careful, B. I'm so jealous! Don't even think about following me. Optimus, if you leave me stranded on a planet teeming with humans, I will never forgive you. Until we meet again, old friend. Autobots, roll out! Maximum overdrive! Autobots, transform and gravitize! Look down, or up, or left. So Megatron's packing enough dark energon to raise Cybertron's dead? And since we don't possess ready means of disabling the space bridge, nothing gets in or out. Optimus Prime never disappoints. Unlike you, Starscream. 
No need for concern, Master. Soundwave is logging onto Cybertron's coordinates. Per my instructions. <laughs> Well, what are they waiting for? It appears that Decepticons have sustained serious damage to their interstellar navigation system. Huh, that's my handiwork. Great job, Bulkhead. Without the dish, Megatron will be unable to aim the space bridge at Cybertron. Don't the Decepticons know where their own planet is? Naturally. But Cybertron is many light years away. To reach their target, their aim must be astronomically precise. If Megatron went to the trouble of rendezvousing with his space bridge, he must have an alternate targeting system. A remote one. Hmm. From what I know of Earth's technology, I doubt there exists a single radio telescope dish on this planet powerful enough to pinpoint Cybertron. What about a whole bunch of linked radio telescope dishes? like the giant size array in Texas. This is not child's play. Good thinking, Raph. Ratchet, have Agent Fowler alert the array staff to the security hazard. You, soldier, you're out of uniform. Put on some pants. That may be a challenge. I can't get past the array's firewalls. They're too thick. You? actually think you could keep the Decepticons out? Maybe, if I could get in. Uh, wait, 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 R Raph, what if we could get you all the way in? Like, inside the building in? I could log into their internal network on the other side of the firewall. The risk is too great. The Decepticons will be there, perhaps even on site. Optimus, with all due respect, you said it yourself. This is bigger than the safety of three humans. Yeah, if we let the cons win, we're fragged, along with everyone else on our planet. Raf. I want to give it a shot. Surely, Lord Megatron, the Autobots are up to something. Really, Starscream? the welcoming committee. That'll take some getting used to. Whoa. Sure is lax in this place. I'm in. And so are the Decepticons. What? How can you tell? Schematics. With the same alien math we saw on their ship. But this time, I can download them. It's gotta be the space bridge. The Decepticons are sinking it to the dishes. But I can sink to them. Uh, will they know? Even if the Decepticons see that I'm in the system, they'll have no idea I'm in the house. Decepticons are locking on to Cybertron. Lord Megatron, the space bridge is ready for activation. Finally! They're locked on to Cybertron, but not for long. It 
indeed, Bumblebee. This can only be Raph's doing. Starscream! What is happening? <laughs> Soundwave! What is happening? The dishes are heading back towards Cybertron. I'll just undo that again. What happens when the cons realize they're being punked? It's only virtual combat. You know, like online gaming. Yeah, Jack. What are the cons gonna do? They're probably like a thousand miles away. I won't let him lock on again. the hard line. The dishes are locked on a Cybertron. For good. Now, Starscream? Now. planet of the undead. Optimus, I'm registering a rapidly expanding mass in their space bridge vortex, one with a peculiar energy signature. Dark Energon. Ratchet, we must destroy the space bridge. There's enough live Energon coursing through it to achieve detonation, but we lack the firepower to ignite it. If I knew how the space bridge was engineered, I might find a technical way of accomplishing that feat. Um, would schematics help? Optimus, I must say. The space bridge is our sole hope of ever returning to Cybertron. Are you certain its destruction is the only option? I am afraid so. Then by all means, let us light our darkest hour. Autobots, take your positions and follow Ratchet's lead. While I make my stand. Your fellow Autobots are wise, Optimus. They know when to retreat. I hold no illusions about engaging your army, Megatron. But I might derail its objective by removing its head. <laughs> Highly unlikely, Optimus, as I am infused with their very might! One shall stand, one shall fall. Close. 
Repulsor! That's bad, right? Ratchet, we're in position. RC, pay close attention. Master? Starscream, what is it? I do not wish to question your all-seeing wisdom, but I believe the Autobots are up to something again. Beneath your bridge this time. Ah, misdirection, Optimus. You would have made a fine Decepticon. I chose my side. <laughs> Rendezvous with the space bridge for pickup. Now follow the line from the flow regulator to the Energon pump. There should be a valve. I see it. Good. To turn all that power against itself, all you need do is reverse the current. <sighs> ah! Current reversed. Yes! Right? I already the ground bridge. Decepticons, it is with deep sorrow that I note for the log, Megatron's spark has been extinguished. All hail Starscream. Do you think they're... Four life signals. One very faint. cycles in the world but you're my first and Megatron not even he could have survived ground zero prime I didn't get to thank you bots for the save I owe you one we all do
So, is this the part where you say goodbye and tell us we need to forget we ever saw you? Without a means of leaving this world, we Autobots take strength in the bonds we have forged with our three young friends. True warriors. If not in body, then in spirit. My name is Optimus Prime, and I send this message. Though we did not choose to be of Earth, it would seem that we are here to stay. If you approach this planet with hostile intent, know this. We will defend ourselves. We will defend humanity. We will defend our home.